Hello, my name is Sally. I'm one of the endocrine nurses at Great Ormond Street. Today we're going to have a think about cortisol deficiency and steroid replacement therapy. The adrenal glands rest on top of the kidneys. They're part of the endocrine system, which organises the release of hormones. Hormones are chemical messengers and they switch on and off processes in the body. The medulla, the inner bit of the adrenal gland, makes the hormone adrenaline. We're not going to be thinking about that in this teaching session, but we're thinking about the outer bit, the cortex. The cortex produces two very important hormones. One of them is aldosterone. Aldosterone helps regulate the blood pressure by controlling how much salt is, in the, is retained by the body. If you can't make your own aldosterone, you're prescribed a tablet called flutrocortisone. The main focus of this teaching will be about cortisol. This is the body's natural steroid and it has three main functions. It helps to control the blood sugar level, it helps the body deal with stress and illness and it helps control the blood pressure, especially in an emergency situation. If the body doesn't make enough cortisol, you need to take a tablet called hydrocortisone. It's really important this medication is taken at the intervals prescribed because it only lasts six to eight hours in the body. Cortisol deficiency occurs when the adrenal glands do not produce enough cortisol. This can happen for four main reasons. One is when the pituitary gland is unable to produce the chemicals needed for, to tell the adrenal glands to switch on their cortisol production. The pituitary gland is the master gland which controls other glands in the body. The second is where there's a defect in the adrenal gland so they do not allow cortisol to be produced. The third is if the adrenal gland itself fails or is removed. And finally, the fourth is if the adrenal glands stop producing cortisol because there's too many additional steroids in the body. The replacement steroid medicines need to be withdrawn slowly to give the adrenal glands a chance to wake up and start producing cortisol again. Your doctor will give you more information on which one of these your child has. So further information can be found in this booklet and the link to download this booklet can be found at this website.